So everyone, as everyone knows, I'm pretty um, against power coming into your houses. Thus, we have several um, uninterruptible power supplies. One Master SU-3000 that's soon to be upgraded to an SU-6000 um, or something there like. And what a SU-1000 is, is it's a rack mountable power, so, uh, uninterruptible power supply, true online, um, pure sine wave. And what that basically means is it is never running off the AC power. It's always making the output power from the batteries. Thus, it's an isolated circuit. Um, this one is not um, designed to run a device for a long period of time. Rather, this one, um, it actually does hook up to the master one. Um, this one provides supplementary power, so that way if that one runs low, this one has a secondary. Um, it's just redundancy, and I'm about redundancy. One thing I did add is a, a computer fan to it, and as you can see, the power supply going to it because it's a 12-volt fan. I do need to cl clean that, and actually I'm going to cut out this section actually all the way through so the fan has um, the ability to pull in more air than um, currently. What this video is actually about is um, I've talked to a lot of customers and friends and everyone and nobody quite understands their laptop battery or cell phone batteries and basically lithium ion and lithium polymer batteries, the batteries that we currently use in all of our devices um, actually do not want to be drained down past 50% to maintain um, life. It, uh, long version short, if you charge your battery up, um, if you let it get down to 80%, charge it back up, or you know 75%, um, you'll get about 5,000 charges approximately out of the battery. Uh, whereas if you let it run down to zero, you know, or the, to the point where the phone's shutting off every time, or 10%, you know, something along the low lines, you're only going to get a couple hundred charges out of it, and with it, with that, um, it's not going to hold the charge as long. And the reason why is because as you drain a lithium battery to its empty point, um, what happens is actually the lithium degrades and disappears. So you never can regain that no matter what you do. Um, going to, like, my hobbies with, you know, electronics, in the uh, remote control um, airplane and helicopter and other remote control stuff we actually only run our batteries down to about 50 percent um, and then charge them back up that way we get the longest run time fly time as well as not doing damage to the battery on a long term so if you look at the back of this you can actually see it's just a simple woods timer um, and the laptop hooks up you know on the side of it and you can see that it actually turns on and off a few times a day. It turns off for 15 minutes um, every couple, you know, every um, I think six hours at the moment. Sometimes it uh, on the other side I have it set to shut off for 30 minutes. So that way the laptop battery is always going through a power cycle.